guys. This is going to be a short today. I was going to do a video on routines, morning routines for men, just kind of laying out what I do in the mornings and just what the process is for me and why that's important. I'll do that tomorrow morning. But our morning got completely thrown out of balance this morning because Valor got up at three. I had to bring him back down to bed and then he ended up back in our bed. And then Jordan woke up and then went downstairs, sat in front of the fire. And so I just the whole morning got thrown, thrown out of balance. So tomorrow morning I'll do that. But today I decided that I would show you something that's, that I think is pretty cool and that's been helpful to me and then just give you a, just a subtle encouragement and maybe more than subtle encouragement actually. Uh, and I want to do that by way of my friend who I call my book guy. I have a book guy that is a guy in the neighborhood, not in the neighborhood, in the, in the uh, community that's not a part of our church, but he's just a Christian brother in the community. And this guy used to own a bookstore. He probably had 10 to 15,000 volumes, and it was an absolute top shelf, world class theological library. The, the stuff that he has, I mean, I can't imagine anybody in the world having the stuff that he has. I mean, there are very, very few people that has what he has. And he closed the bookstore, brought a bunch of the best stuff that he has home, and then he slowly has been getting rid of it, and we became friends. And he's given me and sold me some books that have been invaluable to my life and to our family. And that's going to be either handed down to people in my family, my sons or my daughter, uh, or friends and people in the church. As I get older, I'm just going to do for others what this guy's done for me. And I think the, the, the encouragement I have about this guy is that, you know, all of us have skills that we can pass on. All of us have competencies. It might not be books, but we have something that we can pass on to other people. And we just got to be looking for people to be able to pass that stuff on too. I mean, this guy, like I said, he doesn't, I mean, he kind of knows me. Our, I went to school with his sons for a little bit in Christian school, but this guy was uh, in the know with a lot of Christian reconstructions guys And his son, this guy's son, my book guy's son was friends with uh, RJ Rushdeny's son. And uh, this guy's just ran with a lot of different people and has just a wealth of knowledge. I mean, he has got a 1599 edition of Calvin, Calvin's Institutes, 1599. It's just crazy. But I wanted to show you a couple of the books that he's given me. Uh, actually, it's two complete work sets. Actually, it's one complete work set that's still in print through the Banner of Truth. It's Stephen Charnock. And then a uh, the, the uh, Reverend John Brown of Haddington, the Honorable John Brown. Uh, he d put together a... a uh, a study Bible. What's the equivalent to an old study Bible? And that was printed in 1840, I believe. But the first uh, two books I want to show you, it's way older than that. Just a second. This is the older part of my library where we get, oh, this is like all 1700 stuff. And my book guy has given me, this is uh, G. Campbell Morgan. This is the works of Benjamin Warfield. Uh, that's Alexander, Alexander McLaren. He is a contemporary of Charles, Charles Spurgeon in London. And then let's see, uh, this guy's favorite heretic is William Barclay. And this is my Barclay, Barclay collection. I'm trying to think of the other stuff that I've gotten from him. Uh, some Spurgeon sermons. This is New and Old Testament volumes of sermons. Uh, just several different really cool things. I got some uh, uh, some Dabney from him. And there's some Rush Dooney. Uh, the Ryle stuff I got from the banner. But a lot of this stuff came from my book guy. So these two sets I want to show you. Okay, first, let's look at the John Brown from Haddington. And this guy did a lot of great things, wrote a lot of good works, and took a stand for the gospel when the gospel needed to be stood for. You can see this old handwriting. It's pretty cool. And one of the things I wanted you to see in both of these old books, or these sets, is the old English. And you can see this. Let's see, 1840, I believe, when this is printed. And just check this out. I wanted you to see... Some of the old English in here. Let's see if we can see some of the S's. Yeah, look, likewise, that's likewise. The old English S's look like F's. See, that looks like like wife, but it's actually likewise. So this is really neat. Now, like I said, there are some things that I have bought from him and some things that he's given me. I bought uh, the John Gill commentary set it was a Baker print edition. Baker Publishers published it. But these he gave me. I mean, he didn't have to do that. I mean, he could have sold these. And uh, I, I mean, there can't be, again, I mean, there just can't be many of these in the world. This is the two volume Stephen Charnock collected works. Like I said, the banner prints this still. And look at this. Here's the title of the episode today. This is from 1699. I mean, just think about the stories that these books could tell if they could talk. 
And then I just think about how in the world, there's no mold on these books. How in the world have these been preserved? Whose libraries, where, where were they? I would love to hear the story, the lineage of who owned these books. It would be just so cool to hear that story. And then here are some uh, old English Fs again. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can find some here. And as you're looking here, you can see it. There we go. Lord Jesus Christ. See that? Isn't that neat? Looks like Jephus. And then Christ. <laughs> but that's Jesus Christ. So anyways, I just thought you guys would think that was kind of cool. I think it's cool. And this is something we can do for other people. Take the skills that God has given you. And whatever you can do with your hands. And then answer the question, who are you discipling? Who are you pouring into? I mean, you're going to be learning from people the rest of your life, even if it's YouTube videos or, or Gab videos or whatever. You pass that along. You know, do what you can, whatever God's gifted you with, pass that along. And there's going to be young guys that are grateful for that. And it's going to be older guys as well. I mean, God's given me a lot of younger guys and older guys that I learn from and that I'm able to, to help along the way. And it's been such a joy. And I've been a recipient of people helping me out like this book guy and uh, learn lessons from the book guy and be like that for some other young men.